Right, we're on for a repeatable, consistent golf swing. The aim is to move as few joints as possible. And the joints of the body that do move, try and move them as little as necessary. Don't overdo it. And as an example of this today, we're going to use the knees within the golf swing and how that can be holding you back or progressing your golf swing. We'll see. Let me know if you can relate to this. Before you do, please subscribe to the channel. Also hit the bell notification for instant notifications of all my videos. And of course, smash that thumbs up button. That shares it around YouTube. That makes life a lot easier for everyone, especially me. <laughs> So move the joints as little as you can within the golf swing. There's lots of joints within the golf swing. Wrist joints, arms, shoulders, hips, pelvis, knees, ankles, toes. They all have a part to play, but don't overdo it. Don't overcomplicate it. Don't move when you don't have to. It just tires you out. The knees are a perfect example. If I take my club back and I, I have too much movement of my left knee on the way back. Okay, now, now lots of other things happen there, other joints move but i can understand how that can assist a golfer as well by moving the left knee in towards the right knee it's going to encourage a larger hip turn which can be good so therefore the torso is going to turn more and the shoulders are going to turn more but that does come with a price that comes with a massive price what happens to your feet when you do that action you have to rotate onto the outsides of your feet to maintain balance to hold that structure or even that lack of structure do you know it was really sunny five minutes ago that's changed. So knee, let me just tee up this six iron here. So left knee, yeah. So left knee, going towards right knee, there. Hips have turned more. But look, I have to go into the inside or the outside of my right foot and the outside of the left foot and my right foot to structure myself or to hold my balance. So there's a lot of moving parts there that don't have to be in there. And I understand how that's going to give you a larger shoulder turn or larger hip turn. But is it really that beneficial if strike doesn't become quite as good because it's moved us so far away from the golf ball and moved our centre away from its base? Not a great thing. What to do with the knees? Left knee out towards golf ball. So if I'm hitting in that direction, I take my address position there. I want my left knee to go out towards the golf ball. Sure, at address, my knees kind of point along my feet line. My left toes splayed out, so my left knee's kind of externally rotated, which assists with the body opening up, like Eureka Golf Swing. But regardless of how you have your feet, ensure that the left knee goes out towards golf ball. Not directly towards golf ball on that line, but more out this way, so more ahead of the golf ball, left knee in front of golf ball. It's going to be more structured, it's going to be more stable, the length of swing might be a little bit shorter, but if you're structured and stable with less moving parts and you hit the middle of the golf club more, bang on with it. I've never said bang on with it before in my life. Come on son, come back out. Address position there. Here we go. Put a ball in front of the ball. Address position. My knee's going out towards this golf ball. Oh, the sun's out. Fantastic. <laughs> there. Look at that. I'm now flat footed. There's no rolling. A lot less moving parts. And there. My right hip's gone higher, so the hips have opened up. This going out this way, puts left lip, hip lower, right hip higher, hips well open. Down the line. Hips have opened, knees gone out, right hip higher. From there, we turn through. Much more stable, much more uniform. No dramas. Dress ball. Good left knee ahead of golf ball. Left knee ahead of golf ball. That's a good shot. Well, I've just done a club twirl. That's that's big. What have we got? One nine nine downwind six iron. That's must be playing shorter than that. Anyway, <laughs> left knee ahead of the ball. One other thing I like to think about when I talk about reducing the joints or the range of motion of different joints is my wrists. I try and keep them nice, as cool and as calm as possible. I actually think of frozen wrists. But that frozen wrist thing just jumped into my head there because it's along the lines of what this tuition video is about, but the video is actually about the knee. But of course, the quiet wrists, you know, all this. Keep that out. Left knee ahead of golf ball, wrists quiet. How easy is the golf swing? 
Left knee ahead of golf ball, wrists are quiet. Left knee ahead of golf ball, quiet wrists. Hit another decent shot. So why is strike better? Because my knees are quiet. Well, let's hit this one from the grass. So strike is better because low point is controlled. If I'm having to accommodate for the faulty knee movement, so my feet are having to accommodate for the fault within the knee or the over-exaggeration of the knee action or the joint action within the knees, strike or low point is going to be very, very inconsistent because of the movement of the feet. So the low point of the arc moves, moves a long way off the ball, back to the ball, ahead of the ball, inside the ball, outside the ball. Not under the ball, not, not ahead for that compression we need. We will stay more centred, so your head, sternum more centred to the golf ball, if that left knee just goes out. In here, I've moved, I then have to move exactly that amount back to get good strike. That's hard to time. If you're hitting driver and swinging the thing at 100 miles an hour, how do you time that? Do you time that? Can you time that? Left knee out ahead of golf ball controls low point. Divots ahead of the ball. Divots ahead of the ball. Ball was there. Divot is ahead of the ball because my low point is pretty much where my knee was going out to as I come back down. I've not moved away from the ball. I've not moved away from target to move back to target to strike the ball, to move ahead of the ball before I strike the ball. <sighs> you see where I'm coming from? Just keep it simple. Left knee does nothing. Goes out ahead of the golf ball in line with the start of that divot there for good strike. That's in the hole. Not a hole one. <laughs> What other moving parts do we have within the golf swing or joints that we over exaggerate that we don't have to? Frozen wrists, we've discussed that. Bowing, cupping, uncocking too early of the wrist, overcocking of the wrists. Neutralise those. Hip turn, do we have a reverse pivot? Do our hips go at a funny angle on the way back? Do they not move at all? Do they stay totally level? Problem. Shoulder turn, top of the swing, how do the shoulders work in relation to the spine? Do your shoulders level out? Do they not stay pitched? That's another problem. So yes, there's a range of motion. Yes, the joints have to move within the golf swing, but only move them as far as they have to. Don't overcomplicate it, keep it simple, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video.